In this video, we're going to look at the useful task of adjusting dollars for inflation. So our goal here is to con convert some previous year's dollar amount into more recent year's dollars so we can make a apples to apples comparison. The key formula in doing this is as follows. The amount in recent year dollars is going to equal the amount in some previous year dollars multiplied by the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, in the recent year, divided by the Consumer Price Index, the CPI, in the previous year. So, for example, a movie ticket in 1977 cost $2.25. The CPI in that year was 60.6. .6. The CPI in 2017 was 245.12. So what I would like to do is convert this 225 into something we better understand that is in more current dollars, 2000, 2017 dollars. So all I'm going to do is use my formula here. I'm going to plug 225 in uh, right here, the amount in previous year dollars. I'm going to put 245.12 in the numerator. This is the most recent CPI. Uh, and then 60.6 .6 in the denominator. So doing the math here, the price of a movie ticket converted into $2,017 would be $9.10. So spending $2.25 on a ticket in 1977 would be equivalent to spending $9.10 in 2017. The real or inflation-adjusted price of a movie ticket in 1977 is $9.10. However, if we were to look up the actual average price of a movie ticket in 2017, one source I found listed it at $8.97. So after adjusting for inflation, the real price of a movie ticket actually fell from 1977 from $9.10 to $8.97 in 2017. The percentage change in the real price using our percentage change formula, we can say that the real inflation adjusted price of movie tickets fell over this time period by 1.4 percent, a little under 1.5 percent. All right, let's do another example. So you're going to use the same formula, but this time we're going to look at tuition. So public tuition uh, in 2000 in the United States, and this includes room and board and other fees, was $7,586. The CPI in 2000 was 172.2, and the CPI in 2014 is 236.76. The reason why I'm using 2014 is that I don't have data on tuition in 2017, so I don't have anything to compare it to. So I'll go up to 2014 here. So plugging our information into the formula, 7586 multiplied by 236.76 divided by 172.2, tuition converted into 2014 dollars, we see that we get a value here of $10,430.09. So spending $7,586 on tuition in 2000 is really like spending $10,430.09 on tuition in 2014. So again, we can say the real or inflation-adjusted tuition is $10,430.09 in 2000. However, if we look at the actual tuition in 2014, it was actually $16,188. So after adjusting for inflation, tuition increased from $10,430.09 in 2000 to $16,188 in 2014. This is a whopping 55% increase. This is a real uh, inflation-adjusted percentage increase. Um, the next couple slides are going to show slightly different ways of adjusting dollar values for inflation. Uh, we're going to look at converting recent dollars to some previous year's dollars, sort of the opposite of what we just done. 
So for example, instead we could have converted 2014 tuition to $2,002 and made the comparison. So our formula gets slightly adjusted. The dollar amount in the recent year, in 2014, we're going to plug 16,188 here, as I have listed down there. And this time we're going to have the CPI in the earlier period, the previous year, uh, and that's going to be divided by the CPI in the, 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 the recent or current year. So doing that, converting sixteen eighty eight into two thousand dollars into two thousand dollars year two thousand dollars, we find a value of eleven thousand seven hundred seventy three dollars and eighty four cents. So the real price of tuition in two thousand dollars increased from seven five eighty six in two thousand to eleven thousand seven hundred seventy three dollars and eighty four cents in two thousand and fourteen. Uh, another way of thinking about this, spending $16,188 on tuition in 2014 is equivalent to spending $11,773 on tuition in 2000. If we wanted to look at the percentage change, okay, comparing uh, $7,500 and $86 of expenditures in 2000 to the $11,773.84, it's still a 55% increase in the real price of tuition. This is the same story we, we, we saw uh, by looking at uh, the conversion in a slightly different manner. And finally, the last way we can do this, we can divide all our values, tuition values, by the CPI. Recognizing in my example here that the base year of the CPI is 1982 or, uh, through 1984, we're going to convert all our dollars into base year prices through this simple computation. We're going to take 100, multiply it by the recent year's dollars, and divide it by the recent year's CPI. So tuition in 2014 was 16188 Dividing that by the CPI in 2014, Okay, uh, don't forget the multiplied by 100 on top here. We get $6,837. That would be in base year prices, is 82 to 84. We do the same thing for the tuition spending in 2000. Take the 7,586, divide it by the CPI in 2000. Not forgetting to multiply this then all through by 100. We get $4,405.34. So now we can make an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. We have everything in uh, 1982 to 1984 prices. The percentage change, it's the same story as the previous two examples. This is still a 55% uh, real increase in the price of tuition. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.